Hi everyone, Ashley here, and today I am bringing you the book cake tag. This has been going around booktube for quite some time, so I'm very sorry that I'm kind of late to this bandwagon, but for those of you who for some reason do not know what this tag is about, it is just a tag where I'm going to take all the elements that you would need to bake a cake and kind of re-represent them in book format and create like a book cake. So the first ingredient is flour, and for this you are supposed to choose a book that started off slow but then picked up as it went along, and for this I am choosing Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. This book started off very slow for me. The first like 120 pages I was like powering through, but I could not really like any of the characters or any of the plot elements and I was just so upset but I'm very glad I stuck it out because I ended up really really liking this book and becoming very attached to some of the characters so yes I if you have tried this book and you thought that it was a little bit too difficult or you just didn't like it at the beginning but didn't stick it out I highly recommend sticking it out. The second ingredient is margarine or butter and for this you are supposed to pick a book that had a really rich and great plot and I had a really hard time picking a book for this but I ended up going with 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher and I'm choosing this because there's not very many books that are at all like this book. It is a super unique plot, it was extremely rich in its plot elements, I could not put this book down. I think I've read this book like five times and every time I read it, I read it in a sitting. I really really and really I just really loved it. I It's incredible. I would highly highly recommend it to anyone. And the third ingredient in our book cake tag is eggs and for this you were supposed to pick a book that you thought was going to be bad but turned out to be wonderful. And for this I am choosing Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I honestly thought I was going to hate this book. I hated the inside description. I'm not normally a sci-fi reader, especially like a teen sci-fi reader. I'm very picky with my teen sci-fi but I freaking loved this book. I honestly talk about this book in almost every single one of my videos lately, so I don't think I need to describe what it's about, but basically it is a retelling of Cinderella in a dystopian futuristic world where there is a lot of sci-fi elements and she's a cyborg and it's so, so, so good. And the fourth ingredient in our book cake is sugar, and for this you are supposed to pick a sugary sweet read. And I kind of cheated, but not really. I chose Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. These are some of the most adorable books I've ever read in my life. They're so sweet and so adorable, and they just make you feel like warm inside and wonderful, and they're so good. If you haven't read them because the back descriptions of them sound like cheesy and corny, Trust me, just read them. The descriptions sound way cheesier than the book actually is. They're so good. They're just, honestly, they're just love contemporary stories. They're so well written. They're just absolutely fabulous. However, read them in order. Read Anna and the French Kiss first and read Lola and the Boy Next Door afterwards. And the fifth ingredient in our book cake tag is icing, and for this you are supposed to pick a book that covers everything that you really want in a book. And I had a hard time not picking Harry Potter for this because I ended up picking Harry Potter for a different book in this book cake. But I normally would have picked Harry Potter, but I ended up picking Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And I picked this book because it has a lot of the main elements I look for in a book, mainly character development. I am very big into character development. If your book doesn't have a lot of character development, I honestly can't get through it. I cannot get through books where the character doesn't grow throughout the book or like develop into a different person than they were at the beginning. I just I need a dense character. I need it in my books and this book has two wonderfully characterized characters and wonderfully developed characters and it's so good. Also this book takes place in the 80s and I, I don't know if you know this yet from watching my videos but you definitely will in the future. I am obsessed with the 80s. 80s movies, 80s fashion, 80s culture, 80s everything. I'm just obsessed with it so I absolutely adored this book. Also, as an added bonus with this book, this book has dual narrative, and I don't know if you guys know this about me yet, but I love dual narrative when it is done properly, and this book does dual narrative so well. And the sixth ingredient in our book cake is sprinkles, and for this you are supposed to pick the book you go to whenever you need a little pick-me-up, and this time I chose Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I honestly go to this book every time I have a reading slump or any time I just feel the need to feel wonderful about a book because another book let me down. I don't even have to finish the book, I just need to at least start it because it's just so good. Sometimes I don't always pick up The Philosopher's Stone, sometimes I pick up a different Harry Potter book when I need to pick me up, but it's always a Harry Potter book. So yes, it's just... Ugh. Who doesn't love Harry Potter? And the seventh and final ingredient in our book cake is the cherry on top. And for this, you were supposed to pick the book that was your favorite book that you have read so far this year. 
I had a hard time with this. I've read a lot of amazing books this year, like five out of five books, but I ended up going with Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I love this book. I know that it doesn't come out till July and I keep putting it in my videos and I'm so sorry that I keep doing that to you guys, but it's just so good. Again, this does like 80s, 90s culture references throughout the whole book. I'm a sucker for that. I seriously am a sucker for that. Um, there's flashbacks and wonderfulness and it's just, oh my god, it's just so, so good. It's so good. I honestly, every single person needs to read this book. If you are not excited about this book, you should be excited about this book. Become excited about this book because it really is the cherry on top of everyone's freaking book cake. No. There is my book cake. I had a really fun time doing this tag. It was really entertaining and kind of different and I also love to bake so it was kind of really fun for me. I'm gonna tag a few people. I don't think any of you have done this tag yet. If you already have, I'm very sorry, but I did try to kind of do my research, but this tag has kind of been floating around for a really long time so it was a little bit difficult to find out if you've done it for sure or not. But I'm going to tag Jessica from Prices Wong, Katrina from Little Book Owl, Elizabeth Olson, as well as Kimberly Reads. I want all of you to do this tag and I'm so excited to see you all do this tag and if you are a booktuber and you haven't done this tag and I'm not tagging you right now, I officially tag you. Do this tag and please link it down below. I really want to watch you guys do it and that's pretty much it. So until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye!